Welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us. Now, six learners from the Namibia Mathematics Olympiad uh, 2024 have been selected to represent Namibia at the 2025 Pan-African and Mathematics Olympiad, uh, which is pronounced as PAA PAMO, uh, taking place uh, from the 8th to the 18th of June in Gaborone, Botswana. Following the PAMO, uh, four of these six learners will go, to go on to represent Namibia at the International Mathematical Olympiad uh, that is scheduled for the 10th to the 20th July at Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. We are now joined by the two of the participating learners, Anton Kanyanga as well as uh, Helena Haikali, to tell us more about how they feel about this journey, of course, moving ahead and, of course, how they actually got to start uh, to become part of this Olympiad. Thank you so much for joining us. A good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Absolutely. So happy to be talking to you guys. Yeah. I'm talking to the geniuses here. <laughs> uh, perhaps, first of all, um, give us an introduction of both of you. Um, perhaps what school you go to and how you, you know, got to be part of the Olympiad. That's how we do it. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. So I'm from Kawango East region, mm -hmm. there in the north. Eh? So currently schooling at Matumba Gilnari Bebe. Yeah. I'm currently in grade 11, okay. uh, seeking to go in grade 12, yeah. Of course. How is the journey looking like? You think you can make it? Yeah, I think I can <laughs> make it. <laughs> All right. Give us an introduction of yourself. Tell, tell us just a bit about yourself. All right. So my name is Helena Haikali. Yeah. I'm currently in grade 11 at Kanijan Women Catholic High School. Mm -hmm. That's in Omsati region. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Absolutely. While we're still with you, how did you become part of this competition and uh, what processes did you have to go through uh, to get to this stage? Well, it started off with the school level. Yeah. Our math teacher selected a few people from different classes yeah. to partake in the first round because they saw potential in us. And for my journey, it was, for one, filled with prayer. Yeah. I had to pray a lot, That's frequently nice. and constantly. Yeah. And I think second to that would be practicing, mm -hmm. question papers, um, searching up questions online, yeah. and then finding strategies to help myself cope with the math. Oh, that's nice. How was your journey like, uh, Anton? So, my journey started in grade 9, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So, our class teacher, who is a brilliant math teacher, mm -hmm. introduced us to these math olympiads. Yeah. And I eventually got interested since I was good at math, but I wanted to venture more in mathematics. Okay. So my, my first round was actually tough. I, I didn't make it, but mm -hmm. I, I had to practice and believe in myself. It's all about believing in yourself. Absolutely. So I had to believe in myself, work hard to achieve greatness. Yeah. yeah, that's good. I mean, you guys are literally here. I was not good at maths. So I was terrible. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you my marks. <laughs> yeah. But this is quite a historic moment for the both of you, you know. Um, what, what, what was your reactions when you actually got to learn that you'll be participating at the, uh, in Botswana for the Olympiad? Um, for me, mm -hmm. I was in shock. I was overwhelmed yeah. with so many emotions because um, I was surrounded by many talented kids, you know. They were just as capable as I could have been. Yeah. But I'm just grateful that I am the one that got selected, that I did what I did and I did my best and here we are today. Absolutely. Yeah. From the Kavango West? Was it East, East, East region, East right? Down, you got selected to be to represent Namibia. Yeah. For I mean, you're representing your whole region. How does that make you feel? It's actually very surprising to me. Yeah. There's actually a lot, of, a lot of good learners, like good learners in Kawango and just a typical Matumbo learner yeah. making up to here. So for me, it's kind of like very exciting. Yeah. Representing a country at a high level, that's one of the greatest achievements in my life, actually. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. It's going to be a big stage. You're not only yeah. going to Botswana, I mean, it's later on in July, then Australia as well. Yeah, yeah. Talk to us about, you know, for, for, for any of the learners across Namibia also hoping to also reach such a stage. What is your motivation to them? So, for me, it's all about believing in your capabilities. Yeah. So I see most of the learners kind of like doubting yourself and your ability to so say like, I'm facing someone from a prestigious school. Yeah. So I'm just from a school that's from the village or so. Mm. So that discouragement actually does not build you as a person. Yeah. So always try to believe in yourself and your capabilities. Yeah. Absolutely. That's very, very good. It's all about belief, actually. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm also one that's also big on believing yourself, you know, yeah. especially when you come from a rural area or somewhere like a place that's considered small. You know, for many young girls also, um, you know, many a times girls are not really, uh, they feel like because they're a girl, they are not, you know, 
smart enough to get to a certain stage. What is your motivation to young girls especially? Also hope to do so many great things like you are right now. Um, I'd like to say, believing yourself is a very big aspect of making it in life. Yeah. Um, I think that girls should stop undermining themselves mm -hmm. because they're just as capable as anybody else. Yeah. Being a female does not make you less or less superior than a male. For instance, um, I'm a female yeah. and I've made it to the International Math Olympiad team alongside mm -hmm. my teammates, of course. Mm -hmm. So I think I want to serve as motivation to the young girls to look at me and say that if she can do it, I can do it too. How do I understand from both of you actually? Because look, like I said, I wasn't good at math, right? Mm -hmm. So what exactly is a math Olympiad? For someone who's watching and probably wondering what the math Olympiad is, what is it all about? And how do you actually get to compete? Okay, on my insight, uh, the math Olympiad is kind of like a math competition that looks at your capabilities and your abilities in mathematics. So we look at the first rounds, uh, circuit and regional. Yeah. These are kind of like tricky questions uh, that you normally can relate to high school mathematics, uh, but they're kind of like tricky. Uh. Mm. So just you, as a learner, using the tools that you're given yeah. from your math teachers or a lot of people, and then apply it. So when it comes to the national, it's all about you focusing on the math at large, like yeah. different type of mathematics uh, and studying other so okay. it's kind of like tricky mathematics, yeah. uh, just uh, an overview on it. Okay. Yeah. No, that's good. Absolutely. But thank you so much to you both. I'm really, really proud of you. Not only me, but the countries, of course, very, very proud of you. Please go represent, represent as well. I want to come. I want to have you guys back here when you, of course, return from Botswana and Australia to, of course, talk about your experiences there. So thank you so much. Congratulations and all the best. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, before we go, yeah, of course. I'd like to talk about our sponsors. Yes. So, so our main sponsor is Deb Marine. Okay. Also Namport. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And we also have uh, Global Talent yeah. and Old Mutual. Yeah. And I'd also like to give a special thanks to the NCRST because yeah. they organize all of these competitions. When we're, we're especially, let's say, the boot camps, yeah. they took very good care of us. They were always there and they always made us feel like we could go to them for anything. So I'd like to just give a special thanks to them Absolutely. and to all of our sponsors at large. Mm -hmm. And we're grateful for all of the contributions they've made. Absolutely. So humble of you guys to actually you know, show gratitude to what they've done for you. So thank you so much once again. Wish you all the best. Thank, oh, thank you so you. much. And uh, I'm so proud of you guys, man. Right. And I think you guys must give me a math lesson after this. So yeah. <laughs> stick around. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That was uh, Anton. Kanyanga as well as Helena Haikali, of course, who will be participating uh, at the uh, uh, Pan-African Mathematics Olympiad, PAMO, that is going to be taking place on the 8th to the 18th uh, of June in Khaborone, Botswana. And then later on in July, uh, the 10th to the 20th of July, uh, another Mathematic Olympiad, which is an international, on an international stage, taking place in Queensland, Australia. Of course, I wish them all the best. And of course, also uh, motivating a, lo a lot of young people to, of course, take up uh, this kind of uh, competitions and, of course, hope to see them uh, on a bigger international stages. This is Naviva Connect. We'll be right back with more interviews. Stay right here.